Okay, so now we want to show you how to use the email reporting feature that you've just turned on. So our uh, user, Aussie Bob, wants to email in an issue. So he has put in the address demo105 at mantishub.com. Demo105 being the name of your Mantis Hub. He's put in a subject and he's put in a body of the email. So all he needs to do is simply send that in. Now we need to wait for Mantis Hub to do its magic. Okay, we can see our uh, auto reply that we've set up is working successfully because there is the message that we just configured. Thanks for your email. We've recorded the issue with reference number two. Okay, and two was taken out of the system. That's the issue ID and was placed into your email. So that's great. Okay, so let's go into our Mantis Hub and see where that issue is. And there it is. It's been placed into my project too because that's what we've set as our default project for incoming emailed issues. And that's it. Now, if I want to go in here, and add a note to that. Add a note to that issue. Aussie Bob should, according to our email notifications, receive an email about that issue. So say he wants to reply to that comment. He can reply to this email and send that in and there's the reply from Bob added in as a note. Just to go through uh, what you've put in the email and how that translates into your issue. You can see the summary was taken from the email subject field and the description was taken from the body of the email. And because uh, Aussie Bob is registered within the system, he's also been entered in as the reporter because it recognizes it, his email address. There you go. Next thing I want to show you, if Aussie Bob wants to create an email and he doesn't want it to go to the default project that we've set, what he then needs to do is after the Mantis Hub name, add the plus sign and the name of the project. So my project was project ID one. I don't think it's uh, case sensitive, so you don't need to worry about that. Let's test it. One thing to note, if you do have a project that has spaces or special characters in it, uh, obviously you're not gonna be able to enter those spaces or special characters in there. You will need to replace it with the underscore key. So if I had put my space project, I'll just put my underscore project. Okay, let's give it a subject. There we go, there's our confirmation again to say that his issue has been successfully created with reference number three. And if we go into the Mantis Hub, there it is, and it's been placed into my project rather than my project two. Again, looking at uh, what's been taken out of the email, the reporter is as per the email address sender email address. The summary is the subject and the description is the body of the email. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is 
if you want to attach anything to an email. So let's send in another email. Say I want to attach some further information such as an image I have that shows the issue. I can attach that and send it in. Okay, and there's our confirmation. Go into Mantis Hub and there's our picture. And there it is attached as a file. And there you go.